Hey there. Didn't see you there. Um, stay tuned tomorrow for a review of my playset. Alright, that's all I gotta say. Sonic out! <sighs> oh, wait, forgot a package. <sighs> Jeez. Um, one minute, people. This is gonna take a little bit of finagling. Be right back. <sighs> There. Alright, it's all set. Enjoy the review. I'll be back later for the figure comparison. <sighs> um, thanks, Sonic. On the table today, as you guys can see, we have the Jack Pacific Sonic the Hedgehog Movie 2 Movie Figure Collection 2.5 inch 5 pack. That's right, not only can you have classic and modern figures, you can now also have movie figures, something that we didn't get from the first movie because of the whole redesign drama. So before we even get started with the figures, let's take a look at the box. As you can see, it proudly displays the Sonic Movie 2 logo on the top. Then over here it says articulated, has some warning stuff, ages 3 and up. Big window box displaying all the figures within. Sonic render there, movie figure collection here, tells you everyone you can get that is included in the set. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Robotnik, and a Buzz Bomber. Then you have the Jax specific logo. Bottom, you have the Jax logo again, a bunch of legal information. And on this side, you have the logo again, and then same render. And then on the sides, you have this render of Sonic here. And then on this side, you get this really nice shot of all the figures together. And it's looking great, I'm not going to lie. So, I, am, I paid $20 for this at Target. This is a Target exclusive product. So if you guys want to buy this, I will put the buy link in the description box below. But with all that said, we have finished the box. Now it's getting to the damn thing. All right, now that we have all these guys out of the box, let's take a look at them. Let's go ahead and start with the main man himself. If Knuckles would like to not fall over today, stay there. Let's start with Sonic. Um, I have been wanting a movie Sonic figure since the first film. But again, because of all the redesigned stuff, that unfortunately didn't happen. But this time they didn't have that problem. Because they got it right the first time. So, now we have a Sonic movie figure, and he looks good. Like, really, really good. This has to be probably one of my favorite action figures in my entire collection. And I own a lot of action figures. Um, First, let's go ahead and start with the sculpt. As you can see, his sculpt is very accurate to the movie. Um, Unlike that other... Jack specific Sonic that I looked at that I can't really show you because come on focus. Thank you. Um, he doesn't have any uh, paint running over the top of his muzzle, so I think they're getting better at it. Either that, or I just got a really lucky version. Um, there is a bit of a seam line here on the top of his head that's a bit noticeable. But what's really cool about this guy is the texture. They actually gave him like a texture, like if you pick him up in your hand. And, like, feel him like this. He has, like, all this really, really nice texture. And he looks really good. I love his expression. Um, they don't have the Muppet mouth anymore, which is nice. Um, this cut on his stomach is still a bit weird. It's going to take some getting used to, but it's not all that bad. His gloves are right. They have the right color blue. And they even got his shoes right. They even got the little uh, yellow tag on there. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus, but yep. Yeah. Here's Sonic shoes, and then on the bottom, they are, they actually molded his treads in there, which is really nice. Um, what people, what I've been seeing online from 
uh, reviews of these figures is that they do not like to stand very much. But Sonic has actually not given me that many problems. The one that's given me problems the most is Robotnik, and we'll get to him last. But he looks really good. Now as for articulation, if my camera would like to not fall over today, um, it's pretty much the same as any of these 2.5 inch figures. I'll do my best to show this on camera. Um, you can move his arm up, down, and outward. Can't, no, you can't move it outward. Oh, yes, you can. It's the shoulder. It is a little inhibited by spikes, but you just turn his head. And there you go. Looks really good. The joints feel... They don't feel cheap. They feel really well done, actually. Which is surprising for a figure of this size. As I already showed you, his head can move. It's the same on his other arm. And then his leg can kick... Maybe. This might take a minute. Um, there we go. Um, just be careful uh, managing these guys because they do feel a little too tight in certain spots. But, uh-oh, got a little bit of a paint splotch on his heel. But it's on the undersole. It's not that noticeable. And then his foot can also go outwards. And it can also go back. And you can get him in all kinds of really cool looking poses. And if you really want to, you can take the Buzz Bomber here, take this stand, take him off the stand, which is really easy. It's just plugged into his bottom. And you're in. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty freaking cool. So yep, that is Sonic. He looks great. I'd give the figure a solid 8 out of 10. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, comparison with the uh, mainline Sonic. So you guys can see how they scale or how they look together. So we have Sonic there. And then we have Modern Sonic. Um, Modern Sonic is definitely a bit taller, it looks like. Or maybe it's just because of the way that they're standing. But they look great together. Like, they really do look great together. So yeah, this guy is a 9. This is easily my favorite of the 2.5 inch figures of Sonic himself thus far. Move you out of the way. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to Tails. Um, Tails has that same texture as Sonic. But it's yellow. It's definitely more of a yellow than an orange. Than what the original trailers and stuff showed. But here's Tails. His expression is cute. He's got a nice little smile. They got his chest fur right. They even got his shoes right. They even have like little texture on his socks there. The texture that they're able to put into this guy is crazy. Now one thing I do need to uh, tell you guys about. When I tried to get this guy out of the package, his head popped off. As well as his tails. But what's nice about it is that these are both on ball joints. So if they do pop off when you're trying to take out of the figure out of the package, don't worry. Because it doesn't mean your figure's busted or anything like that. It just, because they can just pop right back in. It's just the way they have them in that bubble wrap. And this, you know. In this, in this crap. Yeah, I, I'm not keeping that. I'll probably just keep the background for like displaying purposes. But aside from that, the rest of the box is probably going to get tossed. But yeah, there's Tails. Um, as is for as for his uh, articulation, uh, it's very similar to Sonic, but it's also kind of different. So his hand can move, his arm can move outwards, forwards, and backwards. It is going to be a little hindered by the way you have his tails, but you can move the tails. But I'll do that in a minute. And then his legs can kick. Oh, yep, see, like that. Like I said, the figure's not broken. The head just likes to pop off. So, but now that the figure doesn't have a head, we can show his leg articulation better. Like that. Um, the head can move 360 on that. See, it's on a ball peg. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to come off that easily, but it's just something we're pointing out. 
And then his tails, you can rotate them 360, you can put them down a bit, you can put them up a bit. But one thing you should know about his tails, um, it's best that you have them downwards. Because they are, these aren't like hollow, this is all the same plastic. So, if you try to position him like this, he's not going to stand, he's going to fall backwards because his tails are so big and top heavy. So... What I recommend you do if you want to get him to stand, you twist his tails backwards like this. And he'll help the figure stabilize like that. Let's get Tails head back on there. Maybe. Fumble, fumble. There we go. So yeah, um, like I said, it's it doesn't mean that the figure is broken by any means. It's just a little... A little touchy, but that's Tails. He's a cute little figure. I don't think he's as good as Sonic, but I do think they is really good. Almost forgot to show you the bottom. Um, he unfortunately he doesn't have like any texture on his soles like Sonic or as we're gonna see in a minute Knuckles. But yeah, and if you're wondering how he scales with say modern Sonic for example, it's about accurate. Tails is always supposed to be shorter than Sonic, so that works pretty well. So yeah, that's uh, Tails. I still give him about an 8 out of 10. He's a he's still a great figure. Just a little temperamental. Now for Knuckles. Unfortunately, I don't have my modern Knuckles right now, because he's packed in a box for a comparison. But look at this friggin' guy. Like, holy crap, dude. I think Knuckles might actually be my favorite, even more than Sonic. Um, as you can see, they got uh, they got all his dreads right. That he has his tail, which is jagged, jagged like it's supposed to be. He definitely seems a lot bigger and buffer, just like in the actual design. He still has his crescent moon shape. He also has that texture, and then his gloves are supposed to feel like they're made out of leather. So they have like this smoothness to it, unlike Sonic and Tails gloves, which are a bit more uh, textured and rigid. And then he's got these giant shreds on his shoes. That is so cool. He, it's almost like he's wearing boots. And then I think um, they put like some kind of shiny paint right here on his um, buckle, the buckles on his boots. But yeah. Um, Knuckles is a little top heavy because of his head, but if you find a way to position him right, he's not too hard to stand up. But he's he's an awesome figure, dude. Um, but uh, be aware because of that uh, sculpt, you will not be able to rotate his head like at all. If you look there, that that literally keeps his head from moving like at all. So you can't get uh, turned head poses like Sonic and Tails. Which is a bit of a bummer, but it makes sense. Tail sp uh, knuckle figures are always a bit limited. So yeah, he has no head articulation, but he can still bring his arms outwards, forwards, and backwards with no issue. And then his legs are hindered because a bit because of his giant body, because he's supposed to be more like a boxer. So, they can't go forward very much, but I think they should be able to... Yeah, they can go out pretty far back, though, so you can have them, like, jumping off a wall, like... <laughs> like that. It's it's still super cool. And then his uh, leg can go outwards. You just gotta bring it out first. Let me move the arm out of the way for a minute. I kind of like that pose, actually, like... <laughs> like he's getting ready to jump up and uppercut somebody. That's cool. Yes, his 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 foot legs can still go outwards. You just have to move this, and you have to bring the foot forward. Bring the leg forward, not the foot. <laughs> bring the foot forward to actually get some articulation out of him. But yeah, dude, this guy's a ten. I love this knuckles. It looks amazing. Very accurate to the movie. And it's a it is it's a much darker red than actually on camera.
So, yeah, that is Knuckles. He is fantastic. He's my favorite of the set. As I knock stuff over. Um, we'll just, we'll just set them there. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the Buzz Bomber, because I bought him up, I uh, brought him up earlier. He's pretty cool. Um, he's a bit more like just a little f statue just sitting next to Robotnik. Like, you have him here, and you have Robotnik. Like that. Yeah, like that. But he still looks cool. He has this uh, little jaw piece right here. It doesn't move, unfortunately. And be careful when taking this guy out. Or this little jaw piece will break off and you will not find it. And then he's got like these little turrets here on the sides. He actually has a bit of texture to his body, which is nice. And I uh, don't think... Does it have articulation? Let me see. Oh, okay, he has a little bit. He has a little bit of up and down movement at the neck. And then, of course, you can spin him around on the base. But, yeah, um, that's about it. It's more, um, this is the exclusive of the set, because I think the other 2.5-inch figures will be released, re-released some other time in the future, at least according to what I know from leaks. But, um, yeah, for an exclusive figure, it's not half bad. Yes, it can't really do much, but it still looks really cool, like that i real i like the buzz bomber he's a solid seven now for robotnik i have had problems trying to get this guy to stand since i took him out of the box but aside from that he's actually pretty good look at all they even got all the details right he still has a little gold in his jacket it's a little hard to see but if my camera can f all right camera's not going to focus um, they even gave his uh, mustache two different colors, and they did a good job capturing Jim Carrey's likeness. He's even got the little uh, divots in the back of his head. Um, this is a really cool figure. They definitely did a great job getting all the details right. He's even got the little gold on his shoes. Um, he does have a little bit of detail on the heel, but the rest of the sh uh, foot is kind of flat. Which I thought would help him stand, but... Okay, he can stand on one foot. But if you move him around at all, he's not going to stand. Um, unfortunately, I think Robotnik is the worst of the set. It's not that he's an awful figure by any means. I still think he's cool. It's just that compared to the other guys, especially in terms of the articulation that I'm about to show you, he let. And it seems very, very lacking. Um... I think the head can still rotate. It's a little hard to do, though. So, let's just see if I can... Eh. His head can move a little bit, but it's hindered by the jacket. Um, the arms can move outwards. They can go through 60. And you can also bring them out. Like that. Um, unfortunately, unlike the 4-inch figure, he does not have double-jointed elbows. So, he can't like do any sipping coffee poses or anything like that. I'm excited to get that figure. Um, and then, but the reason why I said this guy's the worst of the bunch is the legs. Um, as you can see, because of the sculpt, they are going to be very hindered. Um, you can move it up a little bit because they have it cut in the middle here, but, and they do have it cut backwards too, but I'm not sure... Okay, you can get some decent leg articulation out of him. I don't think it can swing outwards, though. No. Yeah, it's it's not swinging outwards because of the jacket. But, um, I, like I said, he's the weakest of the set, but I still think he is very, very cool and worth the money. Um, I definitely think the 4-inch figure would be a lot better because that one, again, has the double-jointed elbows that this one is lacking instead of this being just one sculpt. Um, but it's not a it's not a bad figure. I give him about a solid six, and that is the entire set. Now let me get all these guys stood up in some kind of pose, and then we'll move on to the final verdict. All right, so my final verdict for the set. Um, this set is still freaking awesome, dude. I still think that this is a awesome, awesome set. And even though it is smaller, and you're obviously not going to get the same quality you get 
out of the 2.5 inch fig out of not too five the four inch figures it's still very impressive like the way that they were able to get all the details right on the animal characters they gave them their textures and while some like robotnik are lacking and some of them can be a bit tricky to stand um for twenty dollars it's a really good deal. You get five figures, you get the main four of the movie, and you get a bonus little Buzz Bomber back here. And if you don't like him, then you get a free flight stand to do whatever you want with. Yeah, this figure's uh, this is a really cool set, and if you guys can find a way to buy it, um, highly, highly recommend it. I'm going to give it a final score of a solid 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10 for my final verdict for the set. Um, I think it was absolutely worth the $20 I paid for it. And while I did have to wait two days to finally get a hold of it, and I know the 4-inch figures will be better, it's still an awesome set. I still think this thing is incredible and it is absolutely worth the money. So if you're a Sonic fan and you're hyped for the movie like me, these are absolutely worth the price. Okay, and that's going to do it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later today for the review of the 13-inch Sonic Plush, also from Jack Specific. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I am Jack Small of Animation Station, and I will see you guys next time. And like I said, if you guys want to pick this up, the buy link to... The buy link will be in the description box below. That concludes this video review. Thank you guys so much for watching. And stay supersonic. Peace.